Welcome to Direct Hit, powered by Tourism Australia. So what a lovely way to end the series and indeed the season with a test match that you will remember. I remember the test match for many reasons, not the least of which was that India were aggressive. I've heard the word aggression used a lot right through the last month and a lot of people have translated aggression into movements of lips and creation of words and having go having a go at each other in the media that's puerile that's silly that's so easily done aggression is a state of mind it's reflected in decision making and i thought india were wonderfully aggressive in the last test match in dharamshala the easiest thing for india to do would have been to go in with six batsmen Virat Kohli was not playing, Ajinkya Rahane's form was a bit iffy, Murli Vijay's form was a bit iffy, Karun Nair just finding his way around, that's four out of six batsmen. The easiest thing would have been to say, good track, let me play six. Instead, India said, no, we want to win this test match. On a good track, what do you need to do to win a test match? You play five bowlers. And in doing so, they not only gave Kuldeep Yadav a debut and threw in this a very unusual kind of bowler, but they told batsman number six, seven, eight, we believe in you and we trust you enough and we empower you. And look at what happened. Where did the turning points in this test match come? What are the difference between the two sides? The fifth bowler, Kuldeep Yadav made the difference in the first innings as he, as he picked up those four wickets. He was, he was brilliant. And on day three, which is a memorable day for Indian cricket, you had uh, not only did India bowl well, but you also had that partnership between Saha and Jadeja. Those 96 runs was the turning point in the, in the test match. And as it turns out, could have been the turning point in the series. So India's aggressive decision making was the primary cause for the success of this test match in Dharamshala. The couple of other things, I think Jadeja continued to climb the ladder, taking wickets and scoring runs and generally, well, in a manner of speaking, rediscovering the batsman in him, but also starting to take more and more pressure. And I've been mighty impressed, as a lot of you know, with Lokesh Rahul. I think he'll be kicking himself for his dismissal because he had the game in front of him, world at his feet. I think he still gets carried away a little bit sometimes. He's still young in international cricket. But Lokesh Rahul showed that he had the composure, how well he batted in that second innings, in that run chase of, of 105. It told me too, as we suspected all along, that if Smith doesn't score runs, Australia are half the side. Warner's had a bad series. I know Hanscom's good, I know Renshaw's good. They were supporting players really. For Australia to do well, Smith had to do well. The moment Smith didn't do well, India were in the ascendant. So India win a hard fought series 2-1, but I thought India won it because at the crucial time, they showed through, the, through their selection, through their thinking, that they were going to be aggressive.